Hi, this is Lori Zachary with LA Thrift Junkie. And for the next week or so, I'm going to be putting out videos that's going to give tips on how to raise our sales. The very first few ones are going to be very basic and some that you may already know. And then there's going to be some added value as they move along. So we're going to talk tonight about using keywords. So welcome in. Please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. Be sure to leave your own tips to help everybody else watching. So when your sales are slow, using keywords can give you a boost in views because the more keywords you add that are relevant to your item, mind you, the more eyes you're going to have on that item because somebody that has a black top might be looking for a career top that's a black blouse while someone that's goth might just want a black top because it feels gothic, right? So using a multiples of keywords in your listing that makes sense to your listing is going to have more customers coming to your listing which in turn can boost your sales right i mean that just makes sense the more that you, people find you the more you're going to sell so there's two different types of keywords you have your style tags and poshmark and macari i do believe maybe even depop and then you have your descriptive keywords so we're going to discuss the difference between those two. So your style tags are the three choices that Poshmark gives you when you fill out your listing. So you'll see like it says literally style tags. But what you may not know about this is you cannot make up your own style tags and at work within the Poshmark app. You've got to choose words they have preset into Poshmark that they have a list of that you can find by typing it in. And if it doesn't come up right away, then that means that it's not one of their choices. Now, Jonna Ogden, which is Pete and repeat on Poshmark, has in her closet a list of all the words that are accepted. So again, only the words that Poshmark has approved will actually work for you and you can't make up your own words. So some of them they have in there is athletic, athleisure, cottage core, bohemian, stretchy, statement sleeve. There's so many. I think there's like a list like maybe of a hundred or so words, but you gotta be careful because you can't use the words they don't have. So descriptive keywords is where it's very important to use within your listing itself. These words are describing the item you have for sale. So they could go all over the place. We're going to discuss that. So these are words that you think a customer might use to find an item like the one that you are listing. You never want to use words that do not pertain. Don't use a copy and paste quick method. I may say that a few times because it's very important to not do that. So here's an example. So a top could also be a shirt. A shirt could also be a blouse. A blouse could be a tank top, t-shirt, polo. A purse could be a purse, a bag, a tote, or carry-on, right? You get my point. Pants could be trousers, slacks, dress pants. I mean, lots of other words that's not in here. And just to kind of give you an idea of how many keywords there could be, let's take a look at how many different types of dresses there are. Be sure to be adding the keywords that are relevant to your item. And if it's a pair of dress slacks, it could be dress pants, trousers, and pants, right? So you want to make sure that you're adding that within your listing. So somebody that might look up dress pants, somebody that might look up trousers are both going to come to your listing. And that's why you're getting more eyes on your listing because you're using more words for them to find and for Google and Poshmark to find. This is going to not only bring more customers into your item, but it's going to give you ways to explain your items even better. So another thing is fit. So how, what are those different ways of fitting? Oversized, loose, baggy, boxy, long, short, cropped, slim, classic, tailored, fitted. There's all different ways that you can give your item an identity. So I myself like baggy pants. So I'm going to look maybe for that word baggy. Well, another person that works in an office might want tailored pants or an older generation might use the word classic fit. So adding these 
things into your listing, again, is going to bring in a different eclectic mix of people. So colors, color is very important. eBay, it says this is one of the most popular things people look up. So the different ways you can use color, you can use metallic, colorful, neutral, like a descriptive word. You could also use the pattern like striped, plaid, herringbone, solid, etc. And of course you want to use the actual color like blue, red. Um, if it's pink, maybe it's fuchsia pink, maybe it's hot pink, barbie core. So there's different ways to describe color. So get involved with that and go for it. and along with color of course goes the pattern so some person might be out there looking for camouflage polka dot right so add that in there now if you're listing on ebay and or you feel it's important for google search to find your listings adding the gender and size is a good tip this is something ebay says to do so they want to see that it says it's girls boys men's women's maybe even unisex and the size in your title they they actually say that that will give you more google looks than not having it okay so let's also talk about different keywords you can use by talking about style aesthetics so we have bohemian romantic cottagecore goth dark academia preppy so many of these grunge hippie streetwear y2k baddie soft girl which is a new and a big one you guys look it up and learn that one western normcore gorecore pinup retro oh my gosh there's hundreds of these try to use the most relevant ones that are trending currently and or are classic style aesthetics that people look up quite often such as romantic bohemian goth western things like that i'm going to go over a few of these aesthetics to kind of go deeper so if you have something that's dark academia make sure you're adding these keywords if it's relevant wool buffalo check academia collegiate tweed gothic Wednesday Adams, because that's huge right now, right? And she's a dark academia type of person. Grunge. So you kind of get the idea. So now you have dark academia as a keyword, but then you have these other keywords that kind of explain why it's dark academia that you can use in your listings. So there's a lot of different styles that we have, and I'm not going to go over every one of them, but I'm going to go over a few just to show you how you can use these keywords to your advantage to bring more people into your store because again i often will look up wool i often look up grunge as well so grunge is kind of like the flannels it's punk rock stuff like that and one of the most popular ones right now is cottage core so use cottage core if it is relevant to your listing within cottage core you could use romantic chambray denim floral prairie dainty ruffle and or tiered a chore or utility earthy neutrals and sustainable fabrics so if your fabric is sustainable put the word sustainable in there it's one of poshmark's favorites words in your listing you're going to see a lot of people using these two words essential and sustainable because within poshmark's blog they mention it over and over so you get this idea right where we're going you're going to use cottage core you're also going to use romantic if it's floral say it's floral if it's not floral do not put that in there right if it's a prairie style do that um, a peasant type of style might also be cottage core then we have goth so goth kind of goes in a few different directions but black if it is black solid black and it doesn't have like dainty little flowers all over it use the word goth it's not going to hurt anything if it is the right kind of lace it feels victorian it feels kind of something like a vampire wear it's a little bit sexy it's a little bit dark and moody use the word lace in it leather platform because platform heels are goth corset lace up a skull print witchy vamp core again i use the word victorian there's a lot of different terms keywords that you could use within each one of these 
different aesthetics, right? There's all different styles. Look them up. Kind of see the words that are used with them. Diversify your listings and you're going to get more exposure. Again, the more keywords you have, please don't go overboard. Overboarding keywords is actually a negative thing. Use the most important things. But once you use these keywords, it's diversifying your listings for more exposure. More exposure means more customers, which means more likelihood of you selling your item. I appreciate you watching. I thank you. I hope you'll subscribe and like so you can see the next videos coming up. Have a good day. Bye-bye, everybody.